Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about The Ordinary vs. Revolution. I always say The Ordinary changed the skincare game. It really did. They're innovators. They really taught consumers how to read ingredients or pay more attention to ingredients. And it also taught us skincare does not have to be expensive to be effective. So because of that, they are so successful. Tons of brands out there that's going to try to copy it. So let's talk about revolution revolution has been around for a while they used to be called makeup revolution but then they rebranded it's just called revolution now and their skincare line is called revolution skincare and um if you're familiar with the brand uh they tend to be more of like i don't want to call them copycats but essentially they take what's uh, trendy and they make their own version. So we all know about the Tarte Shape Tape, the Too Faced Chocolate Palette, Cover Effects, Custom Enhancer Drops, and then they decided to tackle The Ordinary. Pretty much has all the products that The Ordinary carries. I, I can't say they have all of them, but most of them. I'm gonna compare my go-tos from The Ordinary and just talk about the two brands. First off, Rosehip Seed Oil. Now, I have dry skin, so I love facial oil on my skin. Um, I mix it with my moisturizer or I apply it afterwards or right before it. And it just makes my skin so soft and happy and it seals in the moisture. Rosehip seed oil does tend to go bad really, really easily. So um, I like that The Ordinary kept it in a UV protected dropper bottle, but the Revolution one is not in a UV protected one, it's just a clear bottle. What I like about the Ordinary Rosehip Seed Oil is that it really does just contain rosehip seed oil. There's no fillers. And the Revolution one does tend to put other ingredients in there. Lemon peel oil and orange peel oil, which can be very irritating to the skin. It's gonna cause a lot of allergic reactions and breakouts and things like that. Now, in terms of price, the Ordinary one is a bit cheaper. Let me see. So 14 US versus 990 Canadian Revolution is definitely more expensive. I feel like just because they added gold elixir, they kind of like bumped up the price, which is like, uh, okay. It doesn't really help the skin. I would definitely recommend The Ordinary first. Now next product, Lactic Acid. Between Revolution and The Ordinary, Lactic Acid, they are very, very similar. So really no difference. Um, same texture, same consistency, same color. It's this like sort of peachy color to it um, because of pepperberry. Again, The Ordinary is a tad bit cheaper than Revolution. Another product that I use a lot from The Ordinary is retinol. And retinol with The Ordinary is great because they have um, different percentages. So you can start off mild and then work your way up um, and build up the strength. Now for Revolution, um, they don't have the wide range of percentages like the Ordinary. Revolution uses a clear bottle for the retinol. Retinol does tend to change, go bad easily, so it is better to use a UV protected bottle. Revolution has coconut oil in their retinol. Um, coconut oil was like this big craze um, a couple years back, but many people find that Coconut oil does tend to clog pores. The ordinary version does not use coconut oil, but it uses squalene, which is good. Our body produces this, and so it's really gentle and natural. Another ingredient that I really like to use is hyaluronic acid. It's a great hydrator. It really helps moisturize the skin. It holds a thousand times its own weight in water. The ordinary and the revolution one both are quite sticky. Now that's that's a common thing with hyaluronic acid. Um, it does tend to have that like sticky gel consistency to it. The only one that I've tried that does not really give that stickiness is the AHC B5 Soother or something like that. Anyway, we're not talking about <laughs> that brand today, but just just letting you know, if you're looking for a non-sticky one, the AHC one is great. Last but not least, niacinamide. Um, it's a very, very popular product. People love it because it helps with hyperpigmentation, it helps with pores. And so um, 
between the two brands they're also very very similar the ordinary does have a added bonus antioxidant but aside from that they're both essentially the same so definitely go for the ordinary over revolution just because the price is better the product's better whereas revolution i feel like there are ingredients in there that's not so great for the skin is that a good dupe no it's not even a dupe in my opinion just because it's more expensive like dupes are supposed to be cheaper thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to leave me a comment down below let me know what are your go-to products from the brands if you're new here welcome don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on my other videos and i'll catch you guys very soon in my next one bye guys